All right, guys, day two of the Bassmaster Kayak Series here on the Susquehanna River. Uh, man, yesterday the river showed out for a lot of people, a lot of people. The first 20 people have over 90 inches. It's insane here. I'm sitting in 61st place right now with 86 inches. Um, and I thought I had a pretty decent day yesterday. So uh, it's pretty crazy to think that this river is that amazing. I mean, it is, it, it really is. So anyways, we're gonna still work the same spot we worked uh, yesterday. Hopefully those fish reset. And uh, we're gonna focus more on moving baits today, um, just at least for the morning uh, part of that. And then we're gonna get back to that old wacky worm if the moving baits aren't really producing anything. So. I have no idea how today is going to go, but uh, we're swinging for the fences here. Same location, same spot, uh, almost same bait. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Day two here, guys. We're going to jump into this here on Straight Yacht. My name is Adam Milstead, and I'm a former USC fighter turned extreme kayak angler. I travel around the country fishing bass tournaments out of kayaks. So if you like kayaking, and you like fishing, then welcome to Straight Yak. We can't do that. We can't. I can't believe I forgot on that. I can't, I can't. Wow. That's ridiculous. No fish there. I'm going somewhere else. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forgot my net. I said we're swinging for the fences we're swinging for the fences three quarter ounce spinner bait 14 pound fluorocarbon this thing's got orange and whitish and greenish chartreuse -ish. <laughs> we're swinging for the fences and we're gonna use a slow rolling spinner bait This thing is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. 
Wow. It's so heavy. I'm, I want to catch so many muskie today. Whoa. Big old spinnerbait. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Look at this smallmouth. I'm not even gonna measure that guy. <laughs> you should have seen. About a 12 incher. Hated that thing. You wanted to eat it. I mean, decent one. Pretty. You see this? See how pretty that thing is? There we go. One and done. Beautiful. Sixteen and a half inch. That fish is going to be a big fish. understand how dumb this is. Dude, sorry. Got another another decent one here. Another 16. On a silly spinnerbait. Let's at least get that guy. Ah, we're not gonna get it. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a 16 and 3 quarter.
he's, you know, not giant by any means. Got it. 16 and a half. All right, 16 and a half right there. And a purple worm. I'll submit them only because just stay stay humble in this situation. I mean, I definitely don't have the right location or the right pattern, but I'm gonna trust that something gets done. Stop it, dude. Thirteen and a half. We're gonna stick to this big old orange thing. I always try to lip them, get them out of the net, and possibly flip it on a net. 15, and then we'll call that 13. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason why I need to make you any bigger. We got a 15 right on the money. I called that. Sure, this isn't the same fish. Oh, it's not. It's not a big one, but it, I think it'll help. Oh, he's in the grass. Good move there, man. Sorry, he, he's going to call my 14. I think I got a 14. Oh. He calls my 14 by 
a quarter of an inch. <sighs> Sucks to waste as much time for a quarter of an inch. I'll just tilt it instead of hurting the fish. We got 1725. Alright, 1725. You see how how I have to reel as soon as they hit it? That was insane. That other one over there hit like that too. Man, these guy things suck. I gotta change that alarm. It's gay. What a terrible. I don't know if I really want to do the math. We got 168 inches. We're going home. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. We gotta give God the glory here because even though we did horrible on our home waters uh, we still got a great opportunity to come out here and fish so had to get that one out of the way but guys that is it that is the day two of the Susquehanna Bassmaster tournament and uh, today what's happening is the water's rising up and you know there's a lot there's a lot that goes on when the water rises number one it picks up all this debris okay you got grass you've got moss and weird nasty stuff i saw a couple buckets you know things are just flowing down uh and then the other thing that happens is it muddies the water obviously so as the water rises the water gets muddy now i'm not sure why 
everybody says that they like when you have a stained water. I like stained water when I'm fishing for largemouth. When it comes to smallmouth, I want clear. I want super clear water. Smallmouth are just naturally aggressive, especially here on the Susquehanna. There's a lot of competition. Even though there's a lot of big fish, there's a lot of competition. So whenever they see something enticing, they'll go after it. The clear water is, it, you can do so much more with it. You know, you can do your obvious stuff, like your top waters, your wake baits, um, buzz baits, spinner baits, okay? But you can also ned, if things really get difficult, you can ned, you can wacky rig, you can do all that, and you don't necessarily have to be spot on on your cast to be able to get a fish. As long as you put it, I'm, I'm just guessing here, like a 10 foot radius of a bass, they're gonna see it come over and eat it. Uh, at the same time, these bass, when the water rises, they get off the bank. And I'm here to tell you, if you're out here trying to throw into nothing, it gets really difficult. So, of course, we pound the bank. Um, where when you pound a bank, you're not going to get a ton of bass. It's Your bites are going to be very few and far between, at least for me. I haven't checked the scoreboard or scorecard, and I'm sure that there are people out there who have nearly 200 inches whatever they have a tactic they have something that i don't know anything about uh but as far as for me when a sesquihanna rises up and you have stained water and you got all this debris coming down it's going to be a tough day uh, where the river is dropping this river is going to be on fire again guaranteed tomorrow you can go out here and catch nothing but 17s and 18s you might get a couple 19s and 20s mixed in but this river is insane when it's lower but i don't know guys there's a lot of other people out there who say otherwise i fish this enough i've i've seen a lot of different uh scenarios on this river and it just doesn't doesn't do well doesn't do well when the water rises so all right guys that's it we're heading back to the ramp uh i know i forgot to do this at the intro but if you're brand new to the channel please hit that like and subscribe button down below with that being said guys hopefully you get out on water get yacked thanks for watching straight yak i think i just swallowed a bug Three blow ups on top of that one I caught. Yeah. I didn't hook up on the other three. I was pissed. <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, I only had like seven bites all day. Yeah. But yeah, dude, that thing came yeah, up I and it unloaded on it. I was That's like, awesome. <laughs> I lost a few on the blocker, but I didn't really. I could not get bit on a I don't know how big they were. Yeah. Blocker, blocker, chopper. I didn't get a good look.